The turnstiles just kept churning as the kickoff to the 99 Dr. Pepper Big 12 Championship approached. Ultimately, the sellout gathering of 65,035 fans, mostly clad in burnt orange, represented the largest crowd in the championship game's history, as well as the largest crowd to ever witness a football game at the Alamo Dome. Number 12 Texas came out fired up and ready to bounce back from a loss to rival Texas A&M, while number three Nebraska came ready to prove a point to the BCS committee. The Cornhuskers and Longhorns each ended their first possessions with a punt. But on the UT punt, the Huskers got a nice return by Joe Walker to the Texas 38-yard line. The drive stalled, but Josh Brown came through with a 42-yard field goal to give Nebraska a 3-0 lead midway through the first quarter. Texas quarterback Major Appwhite was looking to jumpstart the Horns' passing game, but Nebraska had a suffocating response. Lauren Kaiser began an onslaught of quarterback sacks by the Blackshirts, and Nebraska was staked to good field position again following another Texas punt. The Huskers plotted forward to the Texas 31 before facing a fourth and one. Quarterback Eric Crouch got the call on a quarterback keeper. The score held at 10-0 heading to the second quarter when Texas finally got its offense moving. On a third down and 10, Applewhite hits Kwame Cavill for a 16-yard gain. But Nebraska again stood tall defensively with Kyle Vandenbosch and Julius Jackson sacking Applewhite on consecutive plays. The drive ended with the Horns' Chris Stockton attempting a 49-yard field goal, which fell short. Nebraska had a chance to retaliate and deal the Horns a big blow, but instead, Couch was intercepted by UT's Greg Brown. But Texas gave the ball right back. On the Horns' very next play, Applewhite was intercepted by Nebraska's Tony Ortiz. That set up another Josh Brown field goal. Trailing 13-0, the Longhorns would again shoot themselves in the hoof instead of starting a stampede. On Texas' next play, the snap flew over Applewhite, which Nebraska converted into a safety. And 15 to nothing is how the score would stand at halftime as Texas was baffled by Nebraska's defense. No one has stopped us like that in the first quarter, and guys got frustrated at something, and, and we've got to mature out of that. There are very few guys that won't be playing on this team next year on that offense, and they've got to handle that better so we can settle down and continue to play well instead of get frustrated. Texas had to punt away at second half opening possession. Nebraska was now playing without Dan Alexander, who injured his hand in the first half. But Corral Buckhalter broke through with the biggest gain of the day, a 55-yard sprint down to the Texas three. That set up the second rushing touchdown for Crouch, who plowed in from four yards out. It was a commanding 22-0 lead for the Huskers at that point. Texas finally got on the scoreboard in the second half, but it didn't come from the offense. The Horns' Casey Hampton forced a fumble from DeHaan Diedrich, and Ahmad Brooks scooped up the ball and returned it for the score. A two-point conversion fell short, and so did any other scoring threat from Texas the rest of the game. If the Longhorns' offense hadn't stunk up the Alamo Dome enough, Bevo offered his own send-off souvenir while exiting the field. But things were quite different for Nebraska, who won its second conference title and first under head coach Frank Solich. I know I didn't want to leave here without beating Texas, and I finally got them. And uh, you know I can I can die now. <laughs>